Hi, my name is Ignacio Vargas. I'm an associate professor uh, in the Department of Hydraulic and Environmental Engineering at the Pontificia Universidad Católica de Chile. Uh, we're located in Santiago de Chile. Um, I'm working in the area of environmental engineering and biotechnology. Uh, my research, uh, the focus of my research is microbial biofilm uh, from different applications, from uh, the study of the biogeochemical cycles of contaminants in the environment, arsenic, perchlorate, nitrate, etc., to the development of energy efficient uh, biological solutions to treat those contaminants and the study of the biological processes involved. One particular topic uh, studied in my lab uh, has been the, the occurrence and treatment of perchlorate. Perchlorate is an endocrine disruptor uh, considered as an emerging contaminant. Its occurrence has link, is linked with uh, anthropogenic contamination. I mean, the use of fertilizers, in soil, uh, fireworks, uh, rocket fuels, explosives. But uh, interestingly, the, the, the most important reservoir of perchlorate in the planet is the Atacama Desert that cover almost the whole north of Chile. So that, that is why perchlorate is so important for us because we have natural contamination of this, of this emerging contaminant, and that compromises water sources, soil, agriculture, etc. So that encourages us to not just look for perchlorate occurrence in our sources, but also to find solutions. In our case, biological solutions, microorganisms that can transform this contaminant in some innocuous species. That is why this uh, extreme and uh, particularly rich environments are also a key uh, opportunity to find new microorganisms able to, to do that, to transform the particular, not just to remove, but also transform this uh, contaminant from water, um, from perchlorate to chloride. So in 2012, when I started working here uh, at Catolica, uh, Robert Nerenberg was here uh, on his sabbatical. So we start working. Actually, he was using uh, my office, that, that the one that now is my office. So we start a conversation of research topics, the study of biofilms, and the ideas and opportunities to develop a perchlorate research in Chile was one of those uh, conversations. So this year, in 2012, we applied for a seed fund grant between the Catholic University and Notre Dame to study perchlorate uh, contamination and treatment. Two years after that, in 2014, Marcela Vega started her PhD under my supervision here in Catholica, of course, under the frame of this collaboration with Rob and the seed fund grant. Um, so, uh, due to the Marcella's motivation and skills, uh, encouraged me to, to motivate her to apply for this dual PhD program between our institutions, between Notre Dame and, and the Catholica. Um, a program that she successfully finished a few years ago, um, studying biological treatment, biological solutions for, for perchlorate uh, in water. Um, Marcella is the first former PhD student of my lab. So I don't have doubt that this uh, collaboration with Rob and the Citadel Grant um, have had a huge impact on my, on my research, on my career. Um, and we're still working on perchlorate. There's so many things to, to study here. So the occurrence of perchlorate in our sources, uh, the fine the finding of new, the bioprospection of, uh, of microorganisms that can transform this contaminant. Um, the, 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 also the identify, the, 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 to identify hotspots of perchlorate in our deserts, in Antarctica, 
or maybe why not in the future in Mars? So there's a lot of things to do with perchlorates, and I think we still we were still working on perchlorates for a few years, I guess. So thank you for for your time, and I hope I'm open for for questions if you, if you have.